Welcome back. You're live with Expresso on a beautiful Tuesday morning. Time to get back in the kitchen and time to ramp up our lunch routine. Now, Clem has a given uh, pantry staple, the good old can of tuna fish. We all got one, a refish uh, with uh, mini tuna quiches made with brown bread. This must have come to him in a crazy dream. We also have Rahim Hussain, chairman of the International Pole and Line Foundation, here with us uh, to tell us a bit more about Woolies' responsibly sourced seafood. They go to great lengths. They cross oceans, literally, wow. to do this sustainably. Okay. <laughs> Um, so sure. <laughs> did you like that? That was the best one so far. Welcome, my friend. You, you're not going to sit idly by. Um, Chef Clem is going to put you to work. Yeah, My brother is going to put you to work today. But great to have you here. Um, and great to be talking about sustainably fished fish, because that's essential. So much focus on our oceans at the moment and depleting fish stocks. So, Clem, first of all, take us through this crazy dream. Did this come to you in a dream, like many of your... Your wonderful ideas do? It came to me in an email. <laughs> <laughs> Were you asleep? When the I was asleep when it came through, so that counts. Okay, <laughs> this is such an easy recipe because it uses ingredients that you already have in your pantry. And it highlights tuna, and I'm obsessed with tuna. Oh, Especially, oh. and you're going to talk us through some of the new fancy tuna lines we got. Mm. Have you heard of albacore tuna? No. Okay, it's these two over here. They are so delicious. It's like, how can I explain it? It's like the most pristine cuts of tuna that have been so carefully preserved in oils. And this one's got the jalapeno oil. I'm telling wow. you, I'm telling you, my pockets are big today because I'm I'm walking away with all of them. I'm These are amazing. <laughs> Not only that, Graham, we, actually, I want you to try Albacore. some. Albacore. You want to try some tuna before I start? Please. Okay, so can have, have a look little, at this little box over here. a little tuna tasting. Yep. A tuna That's tasting. What That's what we're going to do right now. Let, let's swap for a second. You can take, take the middle because I want you to kind of, you know what this tastes like and you know how special this is. So, Graham, will you just tell the viewers what it is we're about to taste? It's in that gold shiny box over There's there. This one over here. Yes. Okay, so what we've got here is Ventresca, white tuna loins. Yes. So it's considered oh, no. a delicacy, Graham. Um, it's from the albacore um, a fish and um, a very mild texture, a little firmer, but from the soft underbelly. So considered a delicacy and... Well, it's I, a I delicacy. Consider, I consider myself very lucky then. So you, say you consider yourself a delicacy, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's really, really special. While you're doing that and tasting, I'm just going to jump ahead a little bit. Okay, first I want to see the look on your face. It melts like butter mm. the flavor is so amazing i'm not just hyping I didn't this get up it on the first try it's really special <laughs> it's so delicious that's your can graham that's your can you, mm. it's all yours you i think you intentionally double dipped and i know it's yours oh yeah it's that yours i'm gonna take this it's so that's delicious the responsible thing to do okay it is take this, <laughs> it this, is this Absolutely. i'm gonna give you a quick run through the recipe i'm gonna pass over to you because you've got a very important message this morning so quiche always starts off mm, with the crust amazing. it is so good i know it's it starts with the crust today we're not going to use pastry we're using brown bread and it works so well because it also absorbs a bit of that custard mm. and gets into the mixture for our custard milk eggs salt and pepper and i'm going to mix that together that's going to be our custard called a royale a royal. that's going to be the filling then we're going to top it with some tuna, some little cherry tomatoes, and when it comes out, a little bit of pesto. Sound good? It sounds okay. phenomenal. So you can get busy. Yeah. Raheem, I'm going to ask you because it is vitally important, this message, and I think we are so happy to be helping you spread the word. Responsibly sourced seafood. What does that mean in the context of today? Yeah, thank you, Graham. I think, you know, sustainability is really at the heart of our business. And what that means from um, a seafood perspective is that all of our fish is green listed and it is responsibly and ethically sourced. Now, this is critically important if you think about the effects and the serious effects of climate change, overfishing, um, plastics pollution, and suddenly illegal fishing that is damaging our ocean stocks. And we need to do our part and protect the oceans. And as consumers, we have the power to make those better informed choices. Well, people forget that we have that power. Yeah? yeah, and you need to make those better choices so you can help change the lives of fishing communities and small-scale small fisheries, as well as change those lives of fishermen who are solely dependent on our oceans. And, we, and we've got such an amazing tradition of fishing. We've got generations of fishing families here that, that survive. And we are blessed to have the seafood that comes as a result, but we want that to stay. We want it to stick around. We're, in the context of, of tuna and fishing, we hear the term pole and line catchment. What is yeah. that method? 
So polling line broadly refer, refers to a catch method that is one hook, one line, one fish at a time. It's been around for hundreds of years and it's been passed down through the decades from generation to generation and it's considered to be one of the most sustainable and eco-friendly catch methods. Uh, you know, it eliminates bycatch and this is another word that needs to be demystified simply meaning that other sea life such as turtles, uh, dolphins and sharks are not caught up during this catch method and uh, some of the lesser um, sort of persane or net fishing is one of the critical issues we face today. Like drag nets that destroy the entire ecology, yeah. never mind the fishing you know, ecosystem but the entire ecology dragging you know, from a meter below the seabed. What seafood is caught using the Poland line method? So all of our tuna is, used, is caught either through a polling line, a hand line, or a long line method. And all of this tuna that you see is caught out of the Maldives, uh, considered to be one of the cleanest and greenest ecosystems. Um, you know, we work with the UN um, around sustainable, uh, sustainably development goals, uh, like-minded industry bodies such as the IPLNF promoting transparency, traceability, and that responsible sourcing of our oceans. So the next time you go out there, you think about making the right choice and making a difference. Um, and in doing so, you are helping to protect the oceans and those important ecosystems. Yeah, for our children, for our children's uh, children. Yeah. I, I've been to the Maldives and it's, I mean, I've snorkeled around the Maldives. It is pristine. It doesn't get <laughs> more beautiful than that. So uh, I get what you're, what you're saying completely. Where, where are you in the process? I see you've, you've rolled out, you've flattened. Is that okay. essential to flatten out your... your it just bread? makes it so much more manageable to actually get into your muffin tins. So the mixture's done. I've cut the crusts off our bread. Again, that's just going to help you get it back into this little tin easily. Popped it in there. You kind of like scrunch it up a little bit and you brush it with a little bit of butter. And then that goes to the oven to toast until they look like these little amazing cups over here. Now I'm going to pass over to you because you're going to help me out with this one. So what you're doing essentially is kind of like we're blind baking our bread. Okay. Just, just so it holds that mixture a little better. So a little bit of the Royale can go into the three cups that we have here. Make it four. There we go. And then just leave a little space for you for the tuna and the tomatoes. So the tuna, we are going to use the light meat tuna shredded in brine. And don't forget that promotion still on, eh? Four uh -huh. cans for 60 rand. Yeah, man, yeah. that's good, eh? That's a cheap protein. It this is, is one absolutely. One of the best proteins that you can have. Absolutely. Really High omega-3s. <laughs> and fatty acids. Completely. And also, to, you can get so creative with tuna, like a tuna malt done right. Is can, I, can I tell you something? Because I, I grew up, I'm old, okay, I'm pretty <laughs> old. So back, back in the day, there weren't like the variations of protein if you were training and, and in gym. So tuna was like the cleanest, best protein you could get. I ate so much of it, but then started watching these documentaries, like end of the line, these documentaries showing the state of the ocean and how irresponsibly tuna are being, being fished and then being frozen and stockpiled and treating it like this non-renewable resource. Mm -hmm. I stopped eating tuna because I felt so guilty. I felt like I was part of the problem. I was the reason why we were depleting our stocks. And, and the fact that now there is such a thrust, not just in terms of conservationists, but on the commercial side, Absolutely. that is massive. And I think it's something you've touched on. As consumers, why is it so important, do you think, for us to make those choices? Well, the, cons the power actually lies in those consumers' hands. They make a choice to, to purchase a product and thereby supporting a certain catch method. And by doing the right thing, by choosing you know, one by one fisheries, you, you actually change the industry. Uh, you fundamentally drive this change um, globally. Um, and another first for us, Graham, I mean, I, I remember coming on the show when we, when we changed our catch method as Woolies and only went into Poland Line. Um, we launched that trip to the Maldives yeah. that we gave away to a customer. And another first is uh, these, beautifully, these beautiful cans that we've launched. Uh, they're, they're they haven't retro, hit the shelves man. yet. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and we are revealing it on Expresso this morning. Yay! How cool is that, dude? They're very funky, eh? They are so funky. I absolutely love them. And the designs on them are actually pretty cool as well. Can you, can you pass me another one? The one, that, there we go. That's the one, that's the one. And you were uh, saying this is your favorite design on the cans. That is my favorite design. They are beautiful. Very cool. I mean, how often do you say the cans, cans of tuna are beautiful? Oh, beautiful. But nice. they are, they really are. So like, very, very on the days of them sitting at the back of the cupboard for like nine no. months. These, these puppies are going to go and they're going to go fast. They are, absolutely. Um, you can get this amazing recipe, this simple recipe, this delicious and responsible recipe on Woolworths.co.za. Then you can email it to a friend like Clem got it emailed to him.
Um, Raheem, thank you so much for, for the work, the efforts that you guys put into what you do every single day. Thank you for coming to spread that word here. And thank you for increasing the range. And most importantly, Yay. <laughs> thank you for this. Because this is my breakfast this morning and I'm, I'm absolutely loving that. That's just so cool. I, I think to reiterate what we've said, you as a consumer can make all of the distance, uh, the difference by, and go the distance by choosing what you buy. It's your choice and you can really help a business grow the their idea of what it is to be sustainable and protect the ocean. It's as simple as that. Well done, Thank man. You, Graham. I think you can get a key share, actually, Raheem. You've earned yeah. the right, my friend. You've earned there the right. There we go. Clem? Oh, for sure. Thank you. I'm going to get one as well. Yes, Clem. All right, let's take a, a little look at how we arrived at these magical little creations. It's like beautiful, Clem. Okay. 